Field teams can now use the coordinated model, navigate to an area, click the wall, and simply draw an elevation. But what you'll notice is as I zoom into the trade, I get dynamic dimensions and context to the objects. The more I zoom, the more detail I get. If I select any of those objects, the first dimension I get is center line off of grid and off of level. You'll also notice it tells you the name of the object at the top. When I select that object again, I get the outside dimensions of that object to grid and level. You'll also see a sectioning tool in the bottom right, and if I drill into the wall, you'll see the riser to the bottle refilling station on the left. When selecting the riser, I get center line and outside dimensions to grid, so I can ensure that I'm installing everything exactly per the plan.